had the yellow had a bit of a reset, but even so. Yeah, it's just amazing. And then Jan Halen has taken over from Mike Shine in the number 16 Wright Motorsports Porsche, and they're sitting in the sixth spot right now. Yeah, this is just crazy stuff that we're seeing here. Dell is just hanging with these guys. They're not leaving him at all. You see the gap back to Summerton and Van Tour. Those guys have switched positions. They're awfully uh, close to one another. You got Summerton, Van Tour, and Pretori all really close. Yeah. This is interesting. We didn't see it, but Preston Calvert, uh, who started that Black 77 Calvert Dynamics Porsche on the opening lap, had a little bit of an off, recovered nicely, and uh, obviously the car was not damaged. Now it's showing great pace. Boy, so isn't that's it? the good news. This battle right here is the pro am leader. This is uh, Van Poor. Yeah. Team with uh, Sofronos, who's coming off a big GTA win at his home track in Long Beach, California. A few weeks ago. Oh, oh look at this. Touches to the inside. That was beautiful. Yeah. That was just sweet. Yeah. Oh. oh, and gives him a little nudge on the way out. That wasn't quite so sweet. Jonathan's not going to be happy about that. And no. Nichols in Pretori. And Halen as well clears him. Yeah, he could, that was uh, probably unnecessary. He needed to give Jonathan a bit of room there. I mean, Jonathan, when he came up the inside, Jonathan didn't turn down on yeah, him. Yeah, that was a bit he'd, harsh. You'd expect to favor a return, if you will, on the exit. Give him half a car with. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He can't exactly. just disappear. And uh, coming up on the back of the number 30 Momo car that uh, had been so impressive in the early going. But it's dropped down the order just a bit. There's going to be a lot of discussion after this one, Greg. I do too. I was joking with the driver, Stewart, last night. I said, well, nice early dinner tonight. I think it's going to be a bit later today, as in tomorrow. But. And there's a look at the number 55 Dream Racing. That's a Lamborghini Super Trofeo Huracan in the uh, leading right now in the GT Cup category. After a couple of teams couldn't make it, uh, it's one of only two cars running in the category, but uh, nice to have them here. Is that championship leading coming in? Number nine car, Ben Barnico behind the wheel right now, but looking at the seller's car with uh, Johnny Kane behind the wheel right now. They've not done any sort of representative lap time. The fastest lap of that car, according to timing and scoring, is a 149.8 compared to like 145 for the leaders. So we saw sellers in at the end of the first lap. I wonder if they've got damage to that car other than just changing the tire. Well, you wonder if if when the tire went down, if it didn't do something, you know, sometimes when they come apart a little bit, maybe it it did something so that's a problem this is a, it's a scrap for the lead i believe in the gts category here that's the 018 that team has been very very busy today that's cameron castles in the porsche cayman and a uh, little bit of a change there cal yeah it's a change for position that's a nice job there nice clean racing that's kyle tilly that's the stephen cameron racing team getting around on the uh, case at racing car so nice job there yeah, and that's a team that's uh, struggled this weekend. Yeah. Had an off early in the going till he really had no laps in the car. And here, look at this is a battle for the lead. It sure Andrew is. Andrew Davis all over the back of yeah. Montermany. And white flag is out to boot, Cal. This is for all the marbles. Oh, Montermany slides a little wide. Davis cuts, cuts in. He can't quite get the position yet. Oh, he just skated a little bit, but he was able to hang on to it. This is right here is where Montermany had an off. His first time out in the car in turn three, and uh, he said, oh, I've learned from that. I won't be doing that again. And uh, Davis hunting. Yeah, that was close. Whew. Udell just sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's a lap down. He doesn't want to mess these guys he's up. He's got but... a high price ticket there to a battle for this win. <laughs> he sure does. And I think for Udell, what a prime opportunity to let people know, yeah, I'm quick. Got something going on behind, too. Yeah, Looks like Vantour is, under, is he under attack from uh, Taylor? That would be Jordan Taylor. Halen and Taylor are close together. Yeah. There. Here it is. Final run off of Oak Tree. Down into that break zone. Turn 14. Fantastic. Not quite close yeah. enough yet. Termini's done a nice job of uh, creating a bit of a gap when he was under immense pressure about half a lap ago. There's Halen having a good run on Ventour. And you drop back a little bit. And Murad has had a great comeback here.
impact he has. And is coming after the number eight of Taylor and Bergmeister is right on his six as well. All on the last lap, down the roller coaster for the final time here. And heading into Hogpen, turn 17. Andrea Montermini, his third, th 300th race. And he might just come out of this one a winner. Down the front straight we go. And it is the TR3 Racing Ferrari and Andrea Montermini along with Daniel Mancinelli getting the win. Andrew Davis, after Mike Skeen spin, brings the McCann Racing. What a story for McCann Racing. One of the drivers sick, finding a replacement driver and coming home second overall, Cal. That is crazy stuff. And Van Tor completes the podium. We'll have to see if there's any penalties after the RG Bargy and the Pro-Am winner. Jan Halen and uh, Michael Shine, a great day. Right Motorsports there. Look at that. That's uh, young Mr. Mancinelli. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. That's a team that showed up at St. Petersburg. We